Hey there, this is Samich, and welcome back to Feed the Beast. Last time, I didn't really get that much accomplished. I did end up making a corn farm over there. Got my turtle set up a little longer, and I think that's about all I did. Didn't really get much done. Made some iron armor. And this time, I'm going to go ahead and get me my corn. Plant the kernel. Boop, doop, doop. And this time, I'm going to take a break from the whole, you know, amazing machinery and go see one of my favorite mods in the mod pack, the Twilight Forest. Twilight Forest is a pretty cool place. I forgot to put my frickin' water in there. What am I doing? water. Is this any of this flat? No, it's not. My turtle's down there. Uh, he's got to have stopped moving because I logged off. Where are you at, turtle? There you are. I'm going to just go ahead and break him and bring him with me. Because I'm not going to be able to, what do you call it, today with him. Oh, man. I am not swimming up nearly fast enough. I'm going to die. Fuck. Get up. Get up. Get up. Please. Stupid water currents. Okay. I'm not dead. That was really fucking close, though. Because I'm not going to be able to use them where I'm going. Because if I'm in the Twilight Forest, it'll just deload all of these chunks and he'll just stop again. Oh my god, get me in the frickin' hole. What do I got going in here? Copper. Copper. Okay. Throw my corn in here. So... Like I said, I'm going to the Twilight Forest. Oops. How do you go to the Twilight Forest? It's raining. You need to surround a 2x2 two two thing of still water with shrubberies, flowers, basically any kind of natural thing. I tend to do it with flowers because I'm not sure what all counts and what doesn't, because some things seem to count, some things seem to not count. It's very strange and weird, so... I'm going to go find some flowers. Here's some flowers. Doesn't look like there's much in this hole from my turtle. enough. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's not quite enough. And let's grab all this crap while we are up here. Get a couple more flowers. Here we go. More flowers. Perfect. Hello. You have an egg. What you doing with that egg, boy? Anyways, I've been listening to my recordings, and I'm not having that issue with the sound that I'm having while playing, so I guess it's just something I'm going to have to live with. And I'm level 30 now, which is the perfect time to level up. Or, not level up, to, uh... What's up with all this cobble in here? Get this cobble into the freaking barrel to uh, enchant something. Which I can't do because I don't have an enchanting table. Which is sad. So no enchanting table. But... I feel that going to the Twilight Forest will be a fun, fun time, so I don't mind quote-unquote wasting my diamond. Alright, the water is surrounded by the shrubbery, so now you just throw in a diamond, and boom! Twilight Portal activated. So here we go. 
into the twilight. I have my turtle on me. I don't want to have my turtle on me. Get the fuck out of my inventory before I lose you. In fact, let's make sure I have enough equipment. I've got two sore. Yeah, I should have plenty. I'm not going to be in there forever. Disrain. Very loud and obnoxious. Okay, let's throw this chest down. And turtle, go in there. Now, turtles aren't really that great for single-player worlds for this exact reason, because they stop whenever you uh, turn the server off, quote-unquote, by logging off the game. So, if you want your turtle to work forever, you basically have to stay on forever. Which is not something I'm going to do. Downloading terrain. It takes a while for the terrain to download, apparently. This sound sounds really, really distorted for me, but I'm not hearing it in the recording, so that's fine. Falling forever. Waiting for the world to look. What the fuck is this shit? It's in a fucking hole. Ooh, holy crap, this lag. Uh, the world's apparently loading, so... Let's get out of this hole. These little wood things here give you sticks. And the Twilight's a pretty cool place. It's got a lot of things in it. Uh, if you've been watching the intro to my videos, where I kind of pan up kind of poorly, that is a Lich Tower, which is one of the things in the Twilight. And Lich Towers are pretty dangerous, but they give you good rewards. Dude, get me out of this fucking land. I can't believe I spawned underground. It's just annoying. I'm saying I'm getting close to the top, though. Yep, right here. We are out. Hello, sheep. Oh yeah, this is a ram, because we're in the Twilight Forest, and the Twilight Forest has rams. Hey, a spawner. I see a spawner. I want to go to that spawner. It looks like it's right under that little lake there, so I'm going to go there. And then look around and see if I can find some cool things to explore, because this place has a lot of things that you can explore like a lot of things. And I want to check a few out because they can have chests and things, lots of goodies. But be warned, this place can also be very hostile. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Some copper. Okay, let's go see if we can find this spawner. It looked like it was right under here. These wood things, they give you sticks when you break them. Up, oh, hello. Aha, spider spawner. Found myself a little thing of goodies. Okay, let's mark this. Oh, did I not? Okay, I did make a twilight portal waypoint. Let's see, sapphire, silver, knowledge fragments, saddle, ender pearl dust, gunpowder, copper. Okay, let's start ditching things that I don't need because I already have a full inventory of awesome things.
Let's see here. Okay. Nice little spawner. This keeps going down, but I'm not here to cave. I'm here to look for awesome things. So, man, look at this place. Now, cool thing about the twilight is this is ground level right here, and ground level in the twilight is 33, meaning that stuff like sapphires and things can spawn higher up than they normally do. Though, copper is still spawning. When does copper stop spawning in the normal world? I'm not sure. I'd have to check that. So I'm going to grab materials that are uh, right in front of me, like these sapphires. Because I'm still at the point where sapphire tools and ruby tools and things are king. And I am going to look for anything cool. Namely like witch towers, or I'm not sure what they're called, but there are also giant gas towers with, like, gas and blazes and stuff in them. This appears to be a hollow hill. And this appears to be a ravine. Ooh, ruby. But yeah, hollow hills are giant hills like this that if you can find the biggest ones... They tend to have lots of spawners and stuff in them, but also tons of resources. I'm not sure if this is one of the biggest hollow hills or not. Or if this even is a hollow hill. It might just be a mountain. Yeah, it says highlands, so this probably isn't a hollow hill. It's probably just highlands. Another reason I'm in here is because in Lich Towers, and I believe the other kinds of towers, you can find uh, enchanting tables, bookshelves, uh, basically lots of things that'll save me the trouble of actually crafting them. So right now I'm not finding anything too interesting. There's lots of giant trees in this place, which are pretty cool. Like, look at this. Look at this tree. Tell me that's not fucking awesome. And the Twilight also has tons of new mobs. Like, look at these little little birds. I don't think they drop anything, so I'm not going to kill them because they're cute and I was stuck in the world. Uh, there are also Twilight versions of normal mobs. I'm walking towards some right now. These are elk. They're basically cows. Only elk. And you cannot soul shard them, and I'm not sure you can breed them, so I'm not going to bother with breeding them. If I did breed them, I'd have to breed them in the twilight. Or, like, pull them out of the twilight with a uh, portal gun, which is something that I'm going to get in the very, 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 very far future. Hello. I know exactly what this is. This is a Naga boss. Who I don't think I want to fight at the moment. Fighting a Naga, probably not the smartest idea. Can I see him? Wait, is that a Naga spawner? I wasn't aware that the Nagas had spawners. I assumed they just, uh,. Like, one just appeared. Okay, I'm going to leave him alone, because I am not nearly geared up enough to deal with him. Oh, fuck. Forgot that they can do that. I'm going to go leave. Oh, it killed a pig. I'm going to go leave now. This Naga wants me. I'm going to leave. I'm leaving you, Naga. Don't worry about me. Alright, so, interesting things 
in the twilight, believe it or not, are usually very grid-based. So if I just walk straight from this Naga's dungeon, chances are I'm going to find something that I want to look at. We had a hollow hill, a lich tower, or what have you. These little buildings here I don't think serve any purpose, but they do look pretty cool. Look at these sheep, or rams. The rams in the twilight can be really cool colors, like light blue. That's not a normal sheep color. Okay, let's make our way down. So I'm going to go see if I can't find something really cool. Hmm, big hole. Hello, what are you? I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. It's a cave. Oh my. Well, my sound's being weird. Not sure what this is. I apparently can't break this. Or if I do, it takes forever, so... Let's get a bucket of water and use that to descend. Could I get in from there? Probably not. I've never seen one of these things before. Probably has loot in it, and I like loot. Loot is nice. Let's make some more torches before I run out. This place is probably dangerous. Okay, we are here. We have arrived. And that's a lot of torches. Wow, look at the mini map. This place is like a giant. What the fuck are you? Oh, dude, that lag. Oh, these things charge you. Avoid the charge. Okay. They look like minotaurs. That's cool. Let's avoid the minotaurs. Okay, so that cow breathing sound is probably the sound of a minotaur. Okay, cool. Little slime. These slimes look different. But they still drop slime balls. There's a chest in there. Nothing's coming up on me. Is this trapped? Other than there being a creeper. A lot of creepers in there? Can I break this stuff? No. Can I... Leaf. Don't know what that does, but I want it. Hmm. Milk can produce energy. Firefly paper. I will, I'll take the paper because I don't have a reed farm yet. Let's get light in there so those creepers can uh, not spawn in the future. So this place is pretty cool. I hear spiders. Ironwood ingot. Not sure what that is, but I'll take it. Blaze rod. Stone brick slab. For the leather. Yeah. Naga stone. I think I got that from the Naga area. Okay, so this place is cool. But I need to mark the exit to this maze right here so I don't get lost. Exit. Alright. 
So that is my way out of this maze. In case I get lost. This place looks extensive. Is that a baby spider? I think that's a baby spider. Crap. Oh, sorry, bat. I didn't mean to hit you. Damn it. Uh, okay, I want the shard of minium. Get rid of the iron bars. Freaking baby spiders, man. They're annoying. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Like, I don't think this uh, hole in the roof is supposed to be here. Because this stuff doesn't look breakable, so that leads me to believe that you're not supposed to be able to uh, cheat your way through. Look at all these torches everywhere. Whoa! Well, that just happened. Hope there wasn't anything... Wait, this stuff looks like I can pick it up. Hope there wasn't anything good in there. Uh, fuck, what do I want to get rid of? I don't have enough inventory room for everything I want. Get rid of the raw venison. Decorative maze brick block. Maze stone mosaic. Okay, so apparently this stuff is breakable. Can you not break it with a pick, though? Or does it just take forever? Let's try. Okay, maybe it is breakable. It just takes forever. This looks like obsidian speed for a... Uh... Okay, I just heard random explosions. Something probably fell on a pressure plate in one of these tunnel rooms. Okay, so you can get them. It just takes forever. This is an interesting place. No, that's not fucking happening. Okay, let's get me up here. Let's go this way. Because I haven't been this way yet. Okay, so I'm not so worried about picking this stuff up. Hello. Oh, good God, this thing breathes fire. Oh, man, there's spawners in there. Okay, so this place is interesting. Kind of a fun place. Okay, let's make sure that I get this room lit up. Before, oh, I see minotaurs. They look like they're having trouble charging over the water. Ow. Okay, they actually hurt quite a bit, so let's retreat. There's a couple of chests in here. Dropped raw pork. Yeah, raw raw beef. Minotaur beef. Okay, let's get this lit up. So, up. Oh, hello. Okay. This area needs to be lit up better. Because this is a minotaur spawner. Are these even affected by light, is the question. Ironwood sword and steel leaf leggings. Okay. I just heard a minotaur. Is he near me? I don't think so. Okay. Let's start replacing things I don't need. Or maze wafer. Can these be used for anything? Or are they just like cookies? Make 
filled tin cans with them. Okay, so let's deposit stuff that I don't need or want. I don't need another mm -hmm. stack of cobblestone. Let's take these leggings, let's take this sword. Let's throw away this leather. Gunpowder. Mm -hmm. Shard of Minium. Are these leggings better than... Iron leggings? They look like they're giving me the same amount of protection. But they look pretty cool. How about the sword? More steel leaf leggings, more steel leaf. Maze map focus. That sounds like something I want. These minotaurs sound like they're everywhere, man. Oh, hello. Hello, Enderman. Ow! Holy crap. Oh, dude. So many minotaurs. Let's retreat. Let's get out of here. Make our retreat. Retreat to the exit. Minotaurs are everywhere, man. Oh, fuck. It's one of these things. Die. Don't let it breathe fire. What the? Okay, that's not one of the ones that breathes fire on you. That was an... Ooh, gold. That was interesting. I think now would be a good time to end this episode off because I am currently feeling very lost, very confused and uh, I need to regroup and I've already been streaming or not streaming, recording for quite a while so let's make this little area right here our base of operations let's throw together a workbench and the chest. So we can throw some of the things we want to keep in this chest. And come back for it later. Actually, let me keep another steely flaggings on me just in case I need them. Okay, so throw stuff in here that I want. And I can come back for later. So you don't keep the comment. Anywho, that's about it for this episode. Next time on Feed the Beast, we shall continue exploring this little maze. Maybe find some more goodies. See you guys then.